Okay, today I'm gonna look at changing the serpentine belt on my 2008 Toyota Tundra. It's got the 3URFE engine, the 5.7. It's the SR5 full drive. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is remove this skid plate in order to get to that tensioner arm. As you can see here, there's the bolt here. That's, um, we've got to remove three, three of these. I've already removed two of them. We've got to get to the third one here, and, and that's step one. Okay, I've got those three removed. Those are a 10 millimeter or Phillips head to remove those. Okay, next you've got two 12 millimeter bolts here and over here that have to be removed. Okay, I got that off. Now, in addition to, to these up front, you also have these connectors here at the back. Of course, this is looking, looking from the top down, but they're also 12 millimeter. You pull those loose, it'll basically drop down then, and then you've got these hooks. It'll slide to the side and just drop right off. So next, if you see there, there's the tensioner, which is a 14 millimeter socket, go socket goes on that. So we're gonna put a breaker bar on it, turn it to the side, and there's a little hole there. If you see to the right, as you're looking up from it, and um, we're gonna turn the tensioner past that and then put something in there like a metric Allen wrench to stop it and hold it in place. Okay, and there you can see I've got the, the I call it a breaker bar, some people call it a pull bar on there. Uh, Again, it's a 14 millimeter, got a half inch drop, had to reduce it to three quarter inch though. And I'm gonna put a cheater bar on here to give me a little more leverage. Okay, and there you can see the, put the Allen wrench in the little hole there to hold the tensioner back. And you can tell there's no tension on that belt yet now. So you can see I got the belt off now and it's pretty, pretty cracked in that regard. Not too bad on this side, but pretty cracked there. So definitely was time to change it. Okay, and we've got the new belt on and um, pulled the tension restrainer back out of there and gave it a quick crank to make sure everything was, was good to go, and it was. So we're just gonna go back reverse order and put the, uh, the skid plate back on and so forth, and we'll be good to go. Saved about $250.